Now this question's um, about the graphs of inequalities and uh, we can read through. We can see that they've already drawn two lines on for us. Um, 3y plus 2x equals 12, uh, y equals x minus 1. And the first question asks us to use the uh, graphs to solve the simultaneous equations. Um, 3y plus 2x equals 12 and y equals x. Well these happen to be the two lines drawn. So the solution is where the two graphs cross each other because that's when both equations will have uh, the same x and y numbers. So we look through and we can see from the graph that the x value where the two lines cross is 3 and we can read across for the y value and we can see the y value is 2. We should of course check that this works uh, just to make sure we haven't made any silly mistakes. So if we take the first equation it says 3 lots of y so 3 2 is a 6 then it says 2 lots of x so 6 does that equal 12? Yep. The second equation says the y value 2 is going to be equal to 3 take away 1. Yes it does. So these are the two solutions for the two graphs x equals 3 and y equals 2. The second part of the question asks us to identify four points which satisfy the three inequalities. Now they're told as x and y are integers which means whole numbers and they want three inequalities to be shown on the actual graph. Well 3y plus 2x is greater than 12. Well when we show inequalities on graphs then we look to see where the boundary line is which is defined by an equals. So the boundary line is 3x plus 2x equals 12. Well as it happens they've already drawn that one for us so we don't need to draw anything else on the graph. We just need to shade out the right uh, part. It says that the 3y plus 2x values have got to be greater than 12. So in other words anything below that line um, is going to be uh, discounted. So we can shade out anything below that line. Now just to check why that worked, if we take this coordinate here for example, um, this is saying 4, 0. So if I do 3 times 0, 0, 2 times 4 is 8. Is 8 bigger than 12? No. So that's why we shade underneath. If I was to take a point above, for example this point here, just to see uh, that it works, then we're saying that the x value will be 6 and the y value will be 2. 3, 2 is a 6, 2, 6 is a 12, 12 plus 6 is 18, yes that is bigger than 12. So shading out below the line has worked. So the next one says y has got to be less than x minus 1. Well that means we need to have the boundary line again, so the boundary line will be y equals x minus 1. Well again they've drawn that on the graph for us, so it says it's got to be less than. So that means we need to shade out above the line, because of the valid region is going to be below the line. So we now know that our answers we're looking for is going to be somewhere in this triangle over here. So we look at the third condition. Well, we need the boundary line again. And the boundary line this time is x equals 6. Um, ideally, if we're doing this properly, because these are all less than, the boundary line should be dotted lines to show that um, they're not actual answers on the lines are not valid. Um, but to make it uh, easier to draw, then we'll use solid lines, but recognize that we can't actually have any answers on the line itself. So x equals 6, well we should remember that all x lines are vertical because all the x parts will be, or the x coordinates will be the same number. So anywhere on here will start 6 something, 6 something, 6 something. So that's why it's the x equals 6 line. So we draw that on. So if we get a ruler and draw that on carefully, but again make sure we show our method clearly, so we can put on there x equals 6 and it says that the x numbers have got to be less than 6 so that means we shade out the numbers that are bigger than 6 so that tells me then that the answers are going to be somewhere in this triangle now because it's all less than symbols then, or greater than symbol here then we can't include any solutions on the actual lines themselves so the four answers we're looking for um, must be one there one there, one there and one there and those are the four solutions we could check one just to make sure that we're not making any silly mistakes so if I take this one here it has coordinates 5, 3 so the x coordinate is 5, the y coordinate is 3 so let's just check all the inequalities. X has got to be less than 6, yep. The Y number has got to be less than X take away 1. Well, X take away 1 is 4, the Y number is less than 4. And when we do the first inequality, 
3 times 3 is 9, 2 times 5 is 10, 10 add 9 is 19, is that bigger than 12? Yeah, so check-in has found that this is going to be a correct answer, the 4 cross is shown on the grid.